I don't do intros. How you guys doing today? I'm doing all right today. Today we're going to talk about what is the best level ranges for invading. Um, now before we talk about anything guys, if you guys would do me a huge favor, if you guys would like and subscribe the video, man, I would greatly appreciate it. We're on the track to a thousand subs before the end of the year. We're right at the cusp of 700. I think if we're tenacious enough, we can reach that goal. Um, and if you guys are interested in Twitch streaming at all, we're almost to 50 followers that are on Twitch. We're five followers away. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Twitch, man. And I'll, uh, you know, I'll put my name on the screen. Anyway, guys, let's talk about um, level ranges. What is the best level range for invading? Um, now, before we even begin to answer this question, you got to ask yourself your own question. What exactly are you looking for in invasions? Are you a beginner invader that just wants to learn how to invade? Um, are you looking for the best, goofiest, uh, fun invasions? Or are you looking for sweaty, sweaty, try-hard gang squads? Um, this video will show you where all these things are. Um, just give you my general experience of invading. If you guys don't know, I have a lot of playtime in this game. I have 2,500 plus hours in this game. A lot of that was spent PvPing, and I decided I'm just going to share my uh, experiences in the game. And I hope I can enlighten people. I hope I can give some generally good advice for when it comes to invading because I feel like there's a lot of things people just don't know about invading. Um, and I'm here to help you guys, man. I'm here to help you guys. So right now on the screen I have my level 20 character, the wolf man. Uh, we're going to talk about 20, 30, and 40, rune levels 20, 30, and 40 to start off. Now these are all pretty beginner friendly levels. Um, you're going to see a lot of people who just don't know what they're doing here, like very newbie players, like this little mage right here who doesn't do anything but spam magic at me even though it doesn't really do anything and I'm carrying retaliating him. And he's getting carried by his high level friend who has a, a bloody hellus and stuff like that. Um, so you're going to see a lot of this exact thing at level 20, 30, and 40. Especially at 20 and 30. Um, it's a really good spot for beginner invaders who just want to learn how to invade. I would say you guys should probably just start here. Um, you can make a really solid build. You can even make a really mean build and be very mean to newbie players who you know, just started the game at this level if you want. Um, now be cautious around level 40. There are some gank squads that hang out around this level. Some really toxic uh, invasions can happen here, but genuinely you're gonna you're gonna find just beginners at stu and stuff at level 40. Um, this guy has a giant crusher, which is, blew my mind level 40, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, those three levels pretty beginner friendly. I would say if you're a beginner invader or if you just want to have some fun, this is a pretty casual uh, level range to do it in. 30. 20 and 40. Um, now we're going to talk about where things don't get so casual and where things get a little bit toxic. Um, level 60 might be the worst range to invade in in the entire game. Level 60 is awful, man. And there's a lot of reasons why it's really, really bad. Um, the number one reason why level 60 is, is really, really bad is the terrible downscaling in the game. Um, a lot of times people are gonna they're gonna gank with their high level friends at level 60 and you just don't have the stats to compete with downscale phantoms at level 60 man your build is barely put together um, and a lot of people are gonna be using crazy ass things at level 60 that you just don't have um, another reason why I think level 60 is one of the most toxic uh, places to invade is because the host little little ganker host, they can put their builds together really, really fast at level 60. You can make a solid um, host ganker build at level 60. And here's the thing, here's, here's a little fun fact. To get plus 12 or plus 5 weapons at level 60, you don't have to kill a single boss. Not a single one. To get a plus 5 somber weapon, or to get a plus 12 smithing weapon, you don't have to kill a single one. Um, so I do not recommend a level 60 for anybody unless you're looking for gank squads who are way over leveled. Um, then, you know, have at it. This is my Jar Pirate. He was, he was at level 70. Um, but 70, I felt, was a very mixed bag. You got a lot of things that were happening at level 60 at level 70. Um, 
plus a ton of rune rock duelists and just stuff like that just very unfortunate things um, but there still was some decent co-op in uh, you know going on at level 70 but I decided I wanted to take them to 75 and see what the invasions like are there and they're much better level 75 and 80 are probably my favorite ranges to invade right now I feel like it's just a really solid mid game area to invade is those two levels especially level 80 level 80 is very very sound I have a lot of fun at level 80 um, I feel like this is like a true mid game area like level range and this is where like a lot of good stuff happens at and there's like a lot of variety that happens at level 80 man like, you think it would just be Lindell? You invade a lot of different places at level 80, man. Especially if you have a lot of the map opened up like I do. Um, you see a lot of cool things, which is what I want. I want variables in my invasions, man. I want variety in my invasions. And, uh, you know, I, right now, this current point in time, level 80 is what it is. And uh, it, it's just a really fun place to invade. And right now, I think it's my favorite place to invade. Um, 90 is also in the conversation for a really good area to invade in. Um, but my experience at IND has been, has been, uh, pretty odd. I've invaded a ton of people at level, uh, level 90 that just don't level Vigor for some reason. <laughs> like, at all. They just, they just decided I'm not gonna level any Vigor. And that's level 90 for me. So it's, it's in the same boat as 75 and 80, I would, I would say. Um, now we move on to what I think is one of also the worst uh, areas to invade. Level 125, level 50, level 137, and level 168 are terrible ranges to invade in. Um, I do not have a lot of fun with these invasions personally. I think they're really, really bad. And it's mainly because you, uh, you run into gank squads quite often here just the sweatiest little fucking Lingrave Lagernia gankers and again if you if those are what you're looking for this is the level range to do it in is those levels I listed off but me personally I don't like to invade here I I'm not a meta guy I don't like invading at meta I'm looking for the silliest goofiest invasions I possibly can and these level ranges they don't offer that um at all now let's talk about a level range that's been really controversial in uh, in the world of Elden Ring since it uh, was a thing back when Peev started invading at this level range. Uh, level 200 has been one of the most mixed uh, experiences of my entire Elden Ring career personally ever since I started invading there. Um, so I started invading at 200 right around the time that actually Peeve started invading at 200, who was the first person to actually, uh, come up with the idea of level, of invading at level 200. So his idea was, at 200, you have a ton of stats, so downscaling phantoms don't really matter at this point. And also, you'll be invading people who are in new game. New game plus, I should say. So, like, there's still a good amount of activity at 200. And there's a lot of advantages that you have. Especially versus downscaled phantoms. Your build is well, well beyond finished. Your build is well beyond finished. And you have a really good chance to fight these, uh... These hoes and these phantoms. Because of how many points you have in your build. It doesn't matter if you... If a downscaled phantom has you know 700 points in this build you have 200 to fight with so you know that's that's pretty solid and uh, for a long time 200 was my favorite range to invade in because it was just there was just so many cool invasions there um, just invading people in new game plus man with downscaled phantoms that don't matter because you have 200 levels um, but over time, since that's been a thing, over time, um, that has long since faded, and now 200 is uh, a really, really mixed bag, man. For me, I have either really funny invasions at that level, or I run into nothing but gank squads, which you see me doing right now. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope this video was a little bit informative to you guys. 
in the slightest you know i'm just speaking from experience here if you guys uh wouldn't mind dropping a comment about your experiences at all different level ranges i would greatly appreciate it and if you guys like this kind of content this kind of pvp content this kind of invasion uh, advice content um be sure to like and subscribe man i would greatly appreciate it trying to get to a thousand subs at the end of the year and uh with that being said guys fare thee well peace out and all that fun stuff i'll see you guys later man gg